Right, this is another lecture on Fourier series. I'm afraid my projector, uh, I'm, I'm at home now, so I can't really use my projector anywhere. Uh, and I think it might be broken anyway because it fell out of the car. <laughs> so uh, next time, I'll, I'll, uh, if it doesn't work, I'll probably buy a HDTV and connect a computer to it. Right, now, because I'm doing it on a whiteboard as well, I will not have enough time to do example questions because I have to write everything out. Uh, but I will link, uh, hopefully, because I'm doing a lot of example questions at the moment, I will link a example question somewhere in the page, somewhere. Right, now, first off, uh, even functions. Even functions are very simple. This is basically me. This, this is the simplest even function. An even function in a Fourier series is uh, one that it's reflected. That's all it's saying. So because uh, this side is the same as that side, it's an even function. Uh, you also have, I can't remember, what, I can't do, uh, just have that, I think, is that the sine curve? That is also an even function. And what it's saying when you have an even function is that bn equals zero. So in your Fourier series, we have your formula for bn, this is equal to zero. So that saves you a, it saves you a bit of time in working out in an exam. The next thing, my voice sounds a bit croaky. The next thing is half range series. Now you can be asked for either half range cosine or half range sine. Now uh, the only times you use this is well normally we have it between minus pi and pi, don't we? But with a half range. We've only got half a thing, so it would be between naught and pi, or uh, minus pi and naught, something like that. So that would be a half range. Now, to solve this, uh, you have your, Fourier, your, your, your new half range series is a naught over 2 plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a n. Uh, and this is the part that changes. It can either be cosine n pi t over l, or if it, you're doing, and that, this is if you're doing the, the the half range cosine series. But if you're doing the half range sine series, it would just be sine n pi t over l. Yeah. Um, now we need to define the different parts in here. A naught is equal to 2 over L. Now, what, what I'm saying with the L is, um, sorry, let's make it a bit simpler. Yeah, that should make more sense. Uh, 2 over L. Uh, so this is, uh, uh, this is, this is similar to uh, our normal Fourier series where we have 1 over pi, or in this case 1 over l, uh, and then the integration of the function f of t, but we've, we've multiplied it by 2. Uh, to remember this you can just generally say you need two halves to make a whole, so we've got two of them. Uh, a n, this is equal to 2 over l, again because it's a half range, l from 0 to L, our limit, uh, f of t, uh, this isn't going to fit, but cosine n pi t over L, and this is all in the bracket for this cosine, but this is only again if it's for your half range cosine series, if it was for the half range sine series, you would change this cosine for a sine, and yeah. Uh, and that's generally it. Uh, Bn is always equal to zero in these cases because uh, generally when they're half range they are even. And that's it. I'll post uh, an example. I'll be up upload an example somewhere along the line. I think I might do one tomorrow actually. But I don't know when I'll get around to uploading because the internet here is kind of crap. Okay.